Hello, and it is time for you to know how to use and install Color Name. So, I thought this wasn't actually that great of a plugin until I saw this here on the second day, which the other one I only got 30, which I shouldn't even be caring about how many downloads because I made it for someone who wanted it and they're happy, so that's good. Anyways, there's a video here for permissions. If you, if this video is not going to go over permissions, this one here will. Um, so, to download, you simply click the download button, and here's the version right here, and then you click this download again. It's going to come up, if you're using Google Chrome, it'll come up with the download down here. It's, it's going to say this a lot because it's a jar file, so just say keep, it's completely harmless. Unless someone goes in and decides to edit it, which I don't think anyone would be able to do that unless they're like professional hackers. So you take this and you drag it into your plugins. And since I already have one in there, I'm going to copy and replace. So now color name is in my plugins. Now I'm simply going to click server. Or whatever you have for running it. And as you can see, there are no errors, and it has enabled it. Where is that? Um, loading color name version 1.0.0, and then there should be an enabling thing here. If there's not, then I forgot to put that in. It doesn't matter. I don't think I did. Oh, here it is, enabling. So now that the server's running, go on to your Minecraft, to your server. And now you can use commands. So first we're going to type, I never actually tried this because this isn't the help you're supposed to use, but we're going to try help color name. And there it says slash color for color is the command that you use. So if you just type slash color, it says not enough arguments. So it's right here it says type slash color help for help. Color help. Here comes up with a little help menu right here. Color reset, resets your color to white. Color and then the color changes your color. And here are all the colors. So now we're just gonna simply type color and let's try aqua. Color set to aqua. As you can see, my name color is now aqua. Now I'm going to try color blue. As you can see, my name color is now blue. But that's not a dark enough blue, so let's make it dark blue. Whoa, I'm not doing good with the keyboard today. and there you see it's dark blue and it makes it a little harder to read so now let's say I just want to reset it there my name is back to white now for if you're an operator which I'm going to double check that I am I'm going to op myself because I think I already myself earlier Okay, now I'm opt. So now I can type slash color my name since no one else is on, but if there is another player then you can use their name. And then I use one of the following colors. Let's do green. And since I'm doing it to myself, it's going to send me a message, which is the message that it sends to the player when their name color changes. And it's going to also send me another message saying that the player that I wanted to change their color has successfully been changed. So now go ahead and press enter. And I was right, there are two messages that come up. 4SS11's name color has been changed to green. And then the message that is sent to the player that you've changed is color set to green by an admin. And now to test that it worked. Now my name color is green. Now I'm going to try the same thing again, but since it's bucket, you can you only have to put since I'm the only person on, I only have to put my first letter. So, color F 
reset. And it found the name for me. So your name color has been set to default by an admin, white. Forsyth 11's uh, Forsyth 11 name color has been set to default white. As you can see, it is white. So that's basically how you use this. Now let's now let me show you how it works if you are not opt. So I'm no longer an opt. I'm going to go back and do Forsyth 11, but the, instead of reset, I'm going to change it to gold. Error, you do not have permission. Watch the permissions video to figure out how to get permissions. And that is all for this video. To quickly install, quickly use. And it's actually really simple and easy. And I hope you like this plugin. Goodbye.